Perfect. All right. Well, uh, this is our first episode, Blue Collar Startup. It's exciting stuff. It is exciting stuff. It's, uh, we should probably start off with, because uh, this is really your brainchild, so why don't you uh, give us the rundown, give us, give us how we ended up sitting here today, Jerry. So it's, uh, it's been a kind of a, a burning uh, issue and something that I feel like really needs to be addressed, and it hasn't been up until you know, this point. But the idea with, with Blue Collar uh, Startup is to, to raise awareness and help educate and empower um, you know, younger generations uh, who are trying to figure out what they want to do and what they want to be later on in life to you know, provide them with you know, some knowledge that, that they can actually go out and, and learn a trade and start their own business and, and become entrepreneurs. <clears throat> in today's culture, it's, uh, it, it, the tech stuff is always out there. It's always what's, uh, what's next and, and what's cool. Um, what's the next big thing coming out? You know, we hear about these big companies launching software and things to make people's lives, uh, you know, easier. But you know, what's not as uh, appealing are um, you know some of the, the jobs that you know need to be done and that we have a major need for, but we don't have the labor supply to make it happen. You know, and um, we're we're kind of in a state now. I feel like where. People are struggling to get things done, you know, basic, simple tasks, and they're willing to pay for them. And, and there's a huge opportunity. We have a saying uh, at our in, in our company that from chaos comes opportunity. And I think right now is the ideal opportunity for, for people to, you know, learn and you know learn the right things and, and ways to work with their hands and be able to build things and create things that are uh, of value and uh, you know help launch their own careers. Yeah, yeah, I know it's it's funny because when you first brought it up to me, and and you know I did the, did a little research and started looking into it, and uh, one thing I had already known to be true was the fact that uh, it was just so hard to find people to do labor, and and, and uh, maybe labor is not even the right word, but like trying to find count contractors to come out and do some things on the farm that I can't do, or you yeah. know like any of that stuff, man. I mean, we were uh, the last two and a half years it's just been crazy. We've got all these projects that either A, I can't do by myself and I need a, you know four other sets of hands, or B, uh, we, you know, I can't, it's just beyond my skill set. Yeah. And like, we just couldn't find anybody, man. We just got all these things are just sitting there and need to get done, you know? Yeah, and you're, you're not the only one. <clears throat> I hear from everybody that I talk to that, um, you know, they're, they're having the same issues. And, you know, with everybody spending so much time at home over the past couple of years, and, you know, I think the way that people are working now, they figured out, hey, we can work remote. We don't need to necessarily go into the office as much as we were before. Um, families are spending more time at home, and they get, they get to thinking about the projects and making their, their you know, workplace, which is now home, mm -hmm. more comfortable for them. And uh, finding people to, to make those changes is been a challenge so a lot of people want that the demands there and, and the supply just isn't right now so yeah you're not the only one yeah no it uh it's it's been tough for sure and um but then moreover once i really got into it and, and started looking at everything I, I just you know you really do see you know to your point of what you said about you know tech is tech is sexy right like it's everybody's talking about what apple's doing and what uh, Elon Musk is doing and you know like all that yeah, stuff it's, space now. yeah yeah but no one's talking about the fact that you know we've got all these systems across America the the backbone the um, all the services that really help this country go and move and go about their day-to-day -day basis are falling in disrepair falling apart they can't find people to do the work and um, you know it's just an, an interesting uh, thing to see an interesting phenomenon to watch all this happen like you know where where's all of our blue collar workers where's all our skilled tradesmen where's you know where are the people that are actually doing the work and can make these things happen whether it's welding or janitorial or carpenters or roofers or masons or you know uh any of it man it's, it's yeah one of my favorite shows uh on tv and i mean the media is, is putting all of this out there and um we're seeing it, you know, younger folks are seeing it, they have access to, access to technology, you know, something I didn't have when I was, you know, 12, 13 years old. Oh, yeah. Um, so they're very impressionable and uh, what they're seeing is, is you know, what they're, what they're going to lean towards. Uh, one of my favorite shows is Shark Tank and yeah. I love it. It's, it's great. You know, you see 
people create something out of nothing and, and be rewarded for their hard work and effort. Uh, but there's not a ton of, of blue collar entrepreneurs that are on that show. Um, yeah. It's mainly tech focused and tech centered and there's, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, we need that too. But I think, you know, if we're able to, you know, highlight, uh, you know, some opportunities where, you know, they, there's, there's money to be made out there and, and by working with your hands and, and learning some skills mm -hmm. that not everybody has. So, yeah, yeah, it's, um, so blue collar startup. Right. The idea here is that we're going to run a podcast every couple of weeks. We're going to invite some guests, yeah. uh, the guests that are just like you. They're blue collar business owners that have grown and scaled businesses to a successful level. Uh, and again, you know, we'll, we'll talk about how, you know, defining success, right? What that yes. what that means. But uh, so we're going to have different guests on. They're going to talk about how they did it, the challenges they ran into, who they are, what they're doing. It's going to be all sorts of different industries and different walks of life and different levels of success for that matter. So it could be the guy that, you know, is driving a dumpy pickup truck, or it could be a guy stepping out of a Range Rover. It could be, you know, it, it yeah. could be a janitorial, it could be construction, it could be all over the board. So uh, I'm excited to kick off. I know we've got some great people that we're going to be yeah. talking to and um, can't wait to get that, that part kicked off. And then we have, um, we also have another part of what we're doing here that is going to be the members only section. I figured we should probably at least talk that about that, tease it up a little bit. Sure. Uh, and again, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll throw the baton over to you, you know, tell us uh, what your vision is for that. So, you know, the idea here is to create a community, you know, that everybody can, can rally around and, and uh, you know, anybody who's interested in, in taking that, that path and learning more about how to become, you know, your own boss and, and live that dream. Um, we're here to help and, and educate and provide the resources so that you know folks can actually take that step. Um, you know the the idea here is to create that community, um, allow people access to information and podcasts that you know they can witness uh, you know a lot of what others have been through and how they've gotten there. And then you know on the back end, you know we allow members to join um, and and really take a deeper dive into some, some of the specifics and some of the actual content and you know, business practices that you know, we've had to learn over the years you know, through, through sweat and hard work, mistakes that have cost, mm -hmm. <laughs> cost money. Um, you know, and, I'm and, still making them too, by the way. <laughs> yeah, every day. You know, and that's, that's the beauty of entrepreneurship. Just yeah, right? have it figured out. You know, uh, Something there's, changes. There's a new one. So, but the idea is to to allow people some access to content, uh, kind of dip their toe in the water, see if it's something that they're interested in. And if mm -hmm. they are, you know, by all means, we're here and um, we're, we're here to help. So um, we're going to give uh, folks access to some of those business documents for a, a very reasonable monthly subscription um, at one membership level. And, and if they're willing and want to take the, the next step and really do a deep dive into this and you know, go through our, our blueprint course, um, you'll have the opportunity to do that. Uh, and if you're a member, you'll receive significant discounts on that as well as business coaching. Um, so really we're here to provide whatever type of resources uh, folks are looking for. Being able to hear a business owner talk about their business, how they did it, what they've been through, some of the challenges they faced, and then being able to go into a place where now I can say like, oh, hey, here's, here's a, a thing on hiring or here's a thing on marketing and sales and these are things I know nothing about and but it's more applicable to my industry than going say somewhere else and you know and, and I really do think that 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 knowledge is one thing and you can read a lot of books and you know do all that stuff but the application of that knowledge is always the hardest part so I'm looking forward to being able to uh, help some blue-collar uh, either whether it's a side hustle or if they own a business, whatever it is, but really trying to help them apply that knowledge into growing their actual business. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, I'm sure people, uh, you know, don't, don't really know, but uh, Mike was actually a, a coach and, and a mentor for me for a while and uh, helped me create a lot of the processes that we use in our business still to today. So, um, you know, he, he is a great coach and, and knows a lot when it comes to building a business and, um, you know, creating process and, and, you know, marketing and generating revenue. Um, so it's exciting, you know, we're gonna pull the resources and, and see what we can do to help people out. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, twice a month. So two episodes a month, at least for right now, and then uh, we'll be adding those to the website and getting those pretty much anywhere you can find a podcast. And 
Yeah. You know, and I and we may want to put it out there if anybody, you know, any business owners that uh, you know are listening and, and want to get involved, we're here to 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 listen and you know, don't be afraid to reach out. You yeah, know, absolutely. Get you yeah, on here and share your story. And um, again, you know, the idea here is to build uh, build community. So. I'm excited for the next episode. It's going to be the the Derek Foster story. So, <laughs> looking forward to it. <laughs>